Whether you're working with some store-bought product like a brick or cleaning up some debris around your work site, how do you know what contains silica? Hi, I'm Sergio with Arthur and Hansen, and for this week's tailgate safety topic, we're going to be covering how to identify silica in materials. Silica is a common hazard in construction and becomes hazardous when material containing silica is disturbed, generating small sized particles that can get deep into your lungs, also known as respirable crystalline silica. For example, blasting, cutting, chipping, drilling, and grinding materials containing silica can result in silica dust that can be hazardous when inhaled. In order to control this hazard, we must either follow control methods listed on OSHA's Table 1 or by other effective means. However, there's a crucial step before we do any of that. That crucial step is understanding what material we're using and whether it contains silica. So this raises the question, how can you determine if a certain product or material contains silica? Crystalline silica has been listed as a carcinogen, meaning it is capable of causing cancer. It was listed as a carcinogen by the California Office of Environmental Health Hazard Assessment, the lead agency for implementing Prop 65 since 1988. As a known carcinogen, crystalline silica is not only managed under the Construction Respirable Crystalline Silica Regulation, but also under the General Industry Hazard Communication Regulations. This means that any new product containing hazardous silica must be properly labeled and be provided a safety data sheet, or SDS for short, with the hazard information. So let's say you received a new product at your site for you to cut and install, such as fiber cement siding, for example. Along with that siding, an SDS should be provided. That SDS should contain information about that product, including properties of each chemical, the physical, health, and environmental health hazards, protective measures, and safety precautions for handling, storing, and transporting the product. When going through and reading the SDS for silica hazards specifically, we want to make sure we keep an eye out for these terms. Quartz, silica fused, tripoline, cristobalite, and tritomite. If any of these terms are found in the SDS, the product contains silica and appropriate measures to control silica hazards should be implemented. In the event where an SDS for a product was not provided or lost, you may find safety data sheets online. There are several sources available on the internet for SDS, including ones that contain information on the different formats, how to read them, and where to find copies for specific products. On the other hand, construction often deals with activities that involve old and existing materials, such as demolition or even in excavations. When dealing with old, unlabeled, and existing material, some further investigative work may be required. Check online published data about the material to determine if you're dealing with something that likely contains silica or send off a sample to be analyzed at a laboratory. When in doubt, assuming that the material does contain silica and following OSHA's Table 1 will help you ensure that you are in compliance without potentially wasting time and money on analysis. Just make sure that you follow all the requirements of Table 1 to a T, including that the task that you're performing is one of the tasks actually listed. So if you have no idea what Table 1 is, make sure to check this video out explaining what Table 1 is and how to follow it. We hope this video has helped you gain a better understanding of how to identify if a material contains silica. Working with silica can be very hazardous and cause numerous fatal health effects. If you need any help with your silica exposure program, hazard communication program, or safety program as a whole, feel free to contact us using the information provided below. Be sure to leave a like on this video, Subscribe if you enjoyed the content and leave a comment below letting us know what you would like us to cover next. Follow us on all social media platforms as well to stay updated with the latest safety tips and tricks. And until next time, be safe and thank you.